Russian human rights activist Mark Figin informed residents of the Kursk region that they have a legal right to separate from the Russian Federation. There is such a project. Any Russian can vote for the separation of the Kursk region of part of its territory. We did not announce this because there really is no demand. People do not want to vote or get involved in this. People from Russia do not want to. Most are afraid and some people do not consider this interesting for themselves. I created the instrument and then it is an open question. Mark Feigen reported this in his interview for Alena Kurbanova on the YouTube channel. The Russian oppositionist was outraged by the passivity of Russians addressing them. I would appeal to the Russians living there. If you need it, and you are the ones who need it, I don't. I don't need it. It is you who need to live differently there, in Kursk. You need to live differently throughout Russia. If you don't need it, if you don't want it, then you don't need anything. Then Mark Feigen explained that it was time for Russians to take the initiative into their own hands, at least in the Kursk region. If you, people, are not showing any movement in this direction, and now there is already an opportunity, in the Kursk region there are still about a hundred thousand left. If you, residents of the Kursk region, do not need this, then no one else does. It is fine with us. We will live in America, in Europe. You need this. It is not Ponomarev who needs this. Well, Ponomarev probably does, since he is talking about it. It is simply absurd to call for you to give me something. We can talk about this, but how do you give it? People need to want it. Then the Ukrainian leadership will say, we are not getting involved in this at all. You need it. You organize. Vote. Choose your government. Chinese state media say heavy rainstorms that swept a city in northeast China this week killed 11 people and left 14 others missing, while causing more than $1 billion in damages. An officer attempting to save lives was among the casualties in Huludio, Liaoning province, according to state broadcaster CCTV. Rescuers continue their search for those missing after the historically rare destructive rainfall. The city's most affected areas received a year's worth of rain within half a day, marking the strongest rainfall since records began in 1951. China faces its peak flood season, prompting calls for improved disaster preparedness amid increasingly severe weather conditions. Over the past two months, landslides and flooding have claimed more than 150 lives across the nation. According to preliminary estimates, 188,800 people were affected by the natural disaster this week, with losses amounting to about $1.4 billion. A large number of roads, bridges and cables were damaged. China was in the middle of its peak flood season over the past month. Landslides and flooding have killed more than 150 people around China in the past two months as torrential rainstorms battered the region.